Hey, it's Patia. How are you? Um, it's been a long time since I've been doing videos on here, and you know, I always have intentions of uh, keeping it going for you. So, this time is a, is a charm, is a charm, hopefully. All right, so anyway, um, I cut my hair. I cut my hair, and I wanted to show you, and you know, whatever. It's just a small fro, blah, blah, blah. You know, I guess I'm working on my size and all that. Way. I'm not worried about all that. <laughs> No, but um, just wanted to just um, talk a little bit about that. And um, so I cut it in July, um, around July 7th. And so it's been, July 7th, um, August 7th, you know, in a few days, maybe it'll be the 7th of uh, September. But so, so about a month and, you know, three weeks or so, something like that. Uh, almost two months, let's begin just round it off. Um, and I just wanted to show you real quick, I do have some other stuff to say about it. Um, I guess I can say it in this video, but um, yeah, so you'll see me do different things with my hair. And, um, but just wanted to show you that in case you are already a subscriber of mine and you're like, oh my God, you got her hair. You know, most of the time I didn't really show my hair a lot on my channel anyway. Well, I did have my braids and stuff. So anyway, you know, you start fresh. Um, and yeah. Okay. Let me just tell you a little bit of why I cut it. Um, I started to eat different differently. Um, no stranger to that. I've been raw vegan before. I'm not raw, all raw, or vegan right now. Um, I do eat animal products, meat, other things, um, which I may go into in another video because I really feel it's important for my life. It may be important for you too to, um, you know, learn about and see how it can affect one's life for the better so basically anytime we do any kind of fast or remove certain dense foods from our uh, diet or the way we eat um, it affects us it affects our lives it affects our bodies obviously so what did I do I kind of went keto or paleo if you will um, ish because the way I eat is I guess it's closer to keto than paleo um, but it's just my own thing you know what I mean it's just like I, I, I started with re the removal of wheat that was the first first thing um, I guess most recently in 2015 it's been like a couple years no wheat um, one time I did I used to I still have a sweet tooth and I used to eat a lot of candy even when um, I stopped the weed and you know know about health and all that still ate my candy and there was one candy uh, in particular I guess I won't mention it just read ingredients if you eat candy and you're trying to stop weight put it like that um, it has peanut butter in it let's just say and chocolate and it's a little crunchy you know um, but it had weed in it I didn't know I think I was doing that for like a couple months until I actually looked at the ingredients one day and said wow I've still been eating weed for like a couple months but overall it's been at least two years where I've um, stopped wheat and that has been one of the best things of my life um, I could go into more in maybe another video um, because I really do want to discuss that but I want to tie that into like my hair and stuff like that okay so and why I think it's growing really quickly now even though it's still short and little but it was a lot shorter and it just seems like it's just growing like really quick right now um, you know afro here always is really compacted and stuff like that but it's you know I'm satisfied with um, the growth rate now and I'm excited you know because I didn't cut it to necessarily stay short even though I do like it um, maybe sometime and I don't know my later years I may rock a shortcut um, you know for a duration and keep cutting it right now i do want it to grow back um but i had some hair damage from heat damage from some chemicals i put in my hair yes for a long time i had no chemicals in my hair no perm no anything like that 
and I put a blowout kit in my hair. I was <laughs> looking at videos online and um, YouTube, of course, and came across, I don't know, it, it said something, it was a lady, she was saying something about um, a way to make your like Afro hair like appear longer or, or um, something and not revert back at the top, you know whatever it was it was just like that blow dry look but it's kind of stayed for a while like my hair is not blow dry right now it's more compacted um it's combed out a little you know but if it were blow dried it would be it would probably look even longer and it would be a little bit more like a lighter fluff to it and not so compact you know so um and but this blow out kit is basically a perm you know not the perm that curls straight hair you know people's hair but what we call perm you know or African Americans call perms um, basically the chemicals that straighten our hair so it was it, it contained lye and I just my hair hadn't been growing uh, well before that and I you know I just wanted something different with my hair so I'm, I, I actually put this product I did a little research on lye Lye has always had a really bad reputation with me. Um, I've always done no lie, no lie relaxers when I've done it. Very, I mean, long time ago, seventh grade stuff. But um, they still took my hair out. And I read online that if a person is going to use a relaxer to straighten their hair, some people opt for a, a lie relaxer, believe it or not, because there's something with a no lie. Um, I don't know all of the... Uh, you know details with it you can look it up of course but it's something it, it contained in the no lie relaxers, relaxers that can cause a buildup on the hair and it can lead to breakage so some people actually opt for a lie relaxer so me hearing all this I'm like well let me just try this and <sighs> my scalp started burning now this was in I cut my hair in um, July and so this must have been like May maybe around May I put this thing in my hair and um, my hair was not extremely long then but it was long enough you know I mean it was uh, and I'm gonna talk about that too it again it ties into my diet and things like that or the way I eat my livete or you know just my eating regimen um, and so basically I had hair damage from that probably some blow drying damage because I blow dry it a lot but that wasn't the worst of the damage because my hair just just seemed to kind of bounce back from the blow dryer but when I put that relaxer in my hair and also about uh, a little less than a month after that or maybe a month after that I put some synthetic braids in my hair which I really like to do I, I like to do yarn so you'll probably see some yarn you know in my hair uh, in some subsequent videos because I do love that and it's more gentle on the hair you know the acrylic yarn and you know that type of thing so anyway um, I use the synthetic hair and I had something special coming up and so it, it looked really nice but when I took those braids out of my hair and I only had them in for maybe a week maybe not I don't even think it was two weeks um my hair it, it was not the same it was not the same it it, it looked like my hair start, was processing even more like it looked like i permed it again which i didn't or not that i knew of so i did some research on synthetic braids um because i used to use synthetic put synthetic braids in my hair a long time ago from when i was very young fifth grade sixth grade seventh grade and uh my hair would break off very frequently um, when I took my braids out and I would not attribute that all 100% to the synthetic hair but a uh, it's definitely a culprit in that so um, there is a substance that they put I think the alkali I don't know what it's called it's like the alkaline um, some kind of treatment or something like that it may be even be lye um, where they treat you know whoever's process processing the hair um, they put this chemical onto the hair to keep it you know from 
I don't know, reverting or, or, or whatever they're trying to do to preserve it, basically. And it may be preserving that hair, but it's not going to preserve your hair. It, it didn't preserve my hair. And so I had breakage from that, and then, you know, other, um, I had other issues going on where I didn't have a lot of growth in my crown area, so I just evened it all up. But the thing is, I kept that damage for like maybe a month or so after um, I put the chemical treatment in my hair and the braids. But what was so special about July? Well, um, I was cleansing. I was cleansing my body. I cleansed myself of starches, most cooked starches. So basically, I don't eat potatoes anymore, or I haven't in probably a couple months. Potatoes, rice, beans, nuts, seeds. I have not been eating them. I still eat animal foods. I still eat eggs uh, and meat and veggies and fruit and you know water and fruit juice and I do my dry fruit sometimes and stuff like that. That's what I eat. So it's basically, oh, and no dairy, no dairy. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to drone too much on this topic because it's really this topic is, it's, I can break it up into different videos. What I'm trying to get to is that when I started to cleanse and when I stopped eating the heavy, dense starches, even the gluten-free stuff, the potatoes and the, you know, the potato breads and I'm, you know, gluten-free because I had been gluten-free since I stopped eating wheat, so a couple years, but I was still eating corn chips. Oh, no corn, no corn chips, none. I don't eat any of that anymore. That's why I'm, I'm losing some weight, but it's all a part of it, you know. And, but, but here's the thing, my presence of mind started to come back. My spirit started to come back. I mean, I'm making videos right now again. It's like every time I start to either have my fresh greens or, you know, do some kind of fast, if you will, from heavy, dense carbs is what I'm learning. I start to wake up. My spirit starts to wake up and the universe around me starts to wake up and my life starts to get better and better and better. And so, anyway, if with the, within about a week or so of me uh, stopping the carbs, the rice, the potatoes, the corn chips, the potato chips, you know, any kind of breads, um, potatoes, uh, I said that already. <laughs> I really ate a lot of potatoes, but um, the nuts, I just, the energy, I had so much energy and so much presence of mind, and I just, I wanted everything to be uniform. I cut it off. I just, I didn't want the damage. You know what I mean? I didn't want it. I evened it all up, I cut, and it, it, it just gave me more courage. And anyway, I'm just excited about life. I just wanted to say hi again, and hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more videos um, from me, Batia, your virtual friend. Um, and, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just excited to share these portions of my life with you uh, right now because maybe it can help you or, you know. So anyway, um, I just wanted to share and uh, talk to you soon. Oh, and since I stopped eating those foods, my hair has been growing a lot quicker. Like the damage that I had in my hair and the non-growth that I was having in my crown is non-existent. Like it's, it's growing quicker. You know, my hair growth has been stalled for a while. But if I think about it, we, our bodies, we, we are natural, you know, we are a part of the universe, right? Everybody talks about uh, hydration, 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 and the importance of hydration, right? Okay, yeah, you can drink all the water you want. You can drink your eight cups, your eight glasses, whatever you call it, or your huge bottles of water, and that's great. I drink water too. I like my juice, I like my fruit, stuff like that. I drink my water too. Um, but you are like a plant or like a tree, right? And yeah, you can drink your water, but if you're eating foods at the same time that you're drinking your water, if you're eating foods, when I say the same time, you know, and during the same day in, in, your, in your, uh, your way of eating, you know, in your menu, if you are including rice, beans, nuts, 
you know, possibly some seeds, um, most seeds actually, uh, and I'm not a, I'm not an expert on this, but what I'm what I'm finding with myself, and what made sense to me, was that wow, these substances are soaking up the water in my body. If I put a pot of rice in a bowl or flour, it could be potato flour or gluten-free rice flour, same thing, right? Rice, um, what else? Beans, dry beans. I guess even maybe even cooked beans, who knows? But I mean, you have to cook beans a long time to get them soft anyway. They just keep taking the water, they take the water. So what, do, what did I think that these substances were doing to my body? The nuts that are, they taste so good. But nuts will soak up water and water and water. How will I have any extra water to grow my hair? How will I have any extra water in my body to give me energy and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, to fuel my life from within, to, to keep me from being overly tired, et cetera. And so this is what, this is the journey that I'm going on right now. Um, we can call it keto, we can call it uh, paleo, we can call it whatever or nothing none of that at all um it is something that i'm i'm realizing i'm, I'm liking i'm liking so far i've been doing this for a couple months and um it's by far the way i'm eating now is a lot easier to maintain than it was when i was raw vegan that is for sure because i was a lot more hungry when i was raw vegan and you know i'm not saying it can't be done um you may be raw vegan you may know somebody who's raw vegan there are plenty of raw vegans and some who do it very successfully so but for me that's not for me right now but anyway i just wanted to share with you that um you know like i said i cut my hair and um it is seeming to grow pretty quickly anyway um that was you know still short and chic hopefully or whatever <laughs> i'm just me but um yeah just wanted to share that with you that's you know the, some of the subjects that um, I'll be talking about, you know, in my channel. This is what's going on with my life. And so, thank you for listening. Um, peace. Patea, I'm out.